welcome. In this session in Linear Data Analysis, we'll explore the null space of a matrix by going through a small example with the Singular Value Decomposition, or SVD. Let's consider this situation. Let's consider a matrix that is all real numbers and it has the same number of rows and columns and that it's rank deficient. So the matrix, this would be a candidate possibly for the spectral theorem, but let's suppose that we want to explore the singular value decomposition. So suppose that A is specifically a two by two matrix, then I can write A as the singular value decomposition and now let's observe what we can put in here. What we can say is that the matrix U will have, because this has two column, two rows, U is a two by two matrix. So I can write that as U1, U2 block partitioning. The singular value matrix, because A is two by two, this is a two by two, and we said it's rank deficient. Let's suppose that the first singular value is some sigma one and that the second one is zero, and that makes it rank deficient. And the off diagonals are always zero. Now, here's where we have to take care. Let's suppose that V is, if there are two columns, V is two by two, and let's write this as V1, V2. Now, let us ask ourselves, let's say that we have some vector w and that this is all real numbers and, there is, and it is size 2. So now, what we can do is we can ask, what is a times w? And the answer is, a times w has to equal, for a we can substitute its singular value decomposition. So now let's ask, let's take this from the right and move to the left. So what is V transpose W? Well that V transpose W that looks like, so what is V transpose? Well, if the first column of V is V1, then the first row of V transpose is V1 transpose. And the second row of V transpose has to be V2 transpose. So that's V2 transpose. And that's multiplied by W. And that has to equal, when we do the multiplication, this has to be a size 2 vector because a 2 by 2 matrix times a size 2 vector is a size 2 vector. And what is the first entry of this? Well, that is V1 transpose times W times V2 transpose times W. Well, another way to write that is V1 transpose any matrix transpose times, any vector times transpose times a vector is the dot product of the vectors. So I could write that as V1 dot W and V2 dot W. Good. So now, what is the next product? So what is, so sigma times V transpose times W has to equal, when we take that, that is sigma 1, 0, and then the off diagonals are 0. And that is now times V1 dot W, V2 dot W. And that will equal, so that will be sigma 1, zero, so that will be 
sigma 1 times v1 dot w. And then this entry will be 0. So let us ask ourselves, under what condition is the first entry 0? So, so when is sigma 1 times v1 dot w equal to the scalar value 0? One simple answer is, well, when w is 0. Let's suppose that w is non-zero. Well, sigma 1, we're saying, we're, we're supposing that that's non-zero. And v1 is the first column of an orthogonal matrix, so it can't be zero. So the only way that this value can equal zero is this is if and only if v1 dot w equals zero. And as we observe, that's trivially true when w is the zero vector. When else is it true? So let's say for w not equals zero, this happens. So when does this happen? Well, let's go back to the V matrix. V1 is a column of an orthogonal matrix. V2 is a column of an orthogonal matrix. What's the dot product of the columns of an orthogonal matrix? That's zero. So this is not, so for a non-zero, one way, in fact, the only way for v1 dot w to equal zero is when w is proportional to v2. And if w is proportional to v2, then this will, then sigma times v transpose times w will be the zero vector. And then when I multiply the zero vector into an orthogonal matrix U, I'll get the zero vector out because that will, that zero vector will be, each entry will be the scalar of a linear combination of the columns of U. And so I now know, so this means that A W equals zero if and only if W is proportional to V2. So that means that the null space of that matrix A is any scalar multiple of the of, vec, of column number two of the right singular matrix of the singular value decomposition.